Hi everyone, today I show you how to blend manually HDR photos in Photoshop. First of all, why I am uh, blending it manually while well, there is a tool in Photoshop to actually blend it automatically. Well, the reason is simple. I hate the result of the automatic blending. I show you how step by step to do the manual blending. Let's go. So first of all, what HDR actually means. This means high dynamic range. And in simple words, when your camera is not able to have enough uh, dynamic range to expose for both shadows and highlight, you take multiple images, expose specifically for shadows and specifically for highlight. And you then merge them together either by using dedicated software or plugins or manually. Today I will show you how to do that manually. So here I have an image shot with five brackets, so five different exposures. One is exposed so most of the image looks good, two are exposed to get the most out of the highlights and two are exposed to get the most out of the shadows. So I am using other bridge, I am going to select my five image and then double click on them, it's going to open them in camera row. So here I have all my image, you can eventually uh, do uh, some changes but I don't uh, recommend it at this stage and then I'm going to open uh, those five images as an object. It's going to open five uh, different files and then we are going to merge them uh, manually because I still think it's uh, faster. So it's easy, you just do command C, command V and you will have all your uh, layers in one file. Then you can close uh, the other files if you want to. And then what we want is to, is to organize our layers. So I want, I want the brightest images on top of my image and the darkest one at the bottom. And I want the image that is uh, normally exposed to be at the bottom. I'm going to show why uh, right now. So I am using a action that you can download uh, if you want. So first of all, I'm going to rename my layers. I'm going to name them plus plus plus. It's, uh, you're gonna see the logic in a second. Um, because this one is the brightest uh, image, is, I call it plus plus. This one is less bright than before, but still bright, so I'll call it plus. This one is the darkest uh, image, so minus minus, and this one a bit less darkest, so minus. And I will keep this one as the original name, or you can call it whatever you want. Then I click on my first layer here, and I'm going to play my action. So I have this action called create HDR layers, and I will play uh, this uh, action. And as you can see, it creates me a folder called HDR and it created me mask, black mask, which means all those layers are now invisible. And now everything we want to do is to reveal the parts that are interesting for us. So, so for example, this part of the image is very dark and so I want to add more light. So I'm going to brush white on uh, this layer, the plus layer here. Um, what else? Of course, the window is way too bright, so I'm gonna use either this layer or this layer, so you can see it depends what look uh, you want for the outside, if you wanna pull your windows a lot or not. Same, uh, this part is quite dark, so we can add a bit more light using uh, one of those layers. So it's what we're gonna do uh, now. So here on this image, there are a few things that we have to fix. So in this image, there are a few things that we're gonna have to fix in the colors, but also in the geometry. We might want to fix the batches that are not looking uh, really straight uh, with probably frequency separation. But all those things will be done after the HDR. And by the way, let me know in the comments if you are interested to know um, the next step to do to edit after the HDR because it's not the topic of this video. So let's start with the HDR editing. So I'm gonna take a brush, D to reset my active color, so I want black and white, and X to have my active color as white. Then I'm gonna click on B, I want a flow of 100%, but I want an opacity of 
and then I'm going to uh, work on the shadows first so I'm gonna go on uh, this uh, plus layers so I'm gonna try to work uh, mostly on the plus and on the minus layers and then for uh, extreme needs I will be using the plus plus and the minus minus but I always start with uh, the plus and the minus uh, layer I don't want a harness of 100% so I'm gonna use something like four forty uh, percent and I start brushing so I start brushing until I am happy with the result so if you are new to it you might uh, not be able to see what you are brushing so don't hesitate to uh, toggle on and off the layer so you can see the difference and we can see here that it's already making a big difference so I'm brushing on parts where uh, the shadows are very strong but then it depends on your test as well and how much you want how much you want the shadow to be strong or not so here as you uh, can see I'm going to show you here I've been brushing and it doesn't look great so I'm gonna have to brush some uh, black on it to get uh, this back if you want to see what you brushed, you can just click like that, Alt on the mask. So I like to have very airy style. So I tend to make everything uh, very bright and then uh, work on the contrast later. But it really depends on your style. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the highlights. So I'm gonna go on the minus layer and work on the window. I'm gonna do it uh, manually at first, but if I see that it's tricky, I'm gonna make a selection. We can see that I'm starting to brush on this part here. Uh, we can see some brush things and I don't want to do that. So I'm going to make a selection here so I don't touch this um, darker part here. So yeah, I'm gonna make a selection uh, around this part so I don't touch the darker part here. And I continue brushing in uh, in white to reveal some shadows on the... Okay, I think that won't be enough uh, to use uh, the minus layer. So I'm going to use the minus minus because I want to be able to see a bit more um, outside and through the window and the curtains here. So I'm still brushing when 10% opacity. Now I'm going to remove with a black brush some parts that I didn't want to brush, so this part for example, that is now looking a bit too dark. I'm trying to get the highlight back uh, on the sofa here and on the table and that works pretty well. Okay, I'm gonna work on the mirror here. Okay, so before and after, before and after, I see some stuff that I'm not very happy with. Uh, for example, this shadow here that seems that I created it myself, which is really not a good thing. So let's see what I did. Yeah, here. So I'm going to remove it. So 100% uh, black and I remove it. Let's see, before and after. I'm going to remove this layer. 
Okay, that looks better. I'm going to work on this light here. So this is my image uh, before HDR and after HDR. Before and after. Before and after. So I took the time to make the rest of the adjustment. So I work on the geometry, the colors a bit and the color uh, correction. So here is the initial image before HDR and any adjustment and here is the final image. Let me know in the comments if you want to learn the rest of the adjustment to get to the final image. Don't forget that you can download HDR action that I used at the beginning of the tutorial. If you like this video, please push the like button and don't forget to subscribe to don't miss any videos. See you in the next one.